thank you so let's move to the next question this is also from gate uh, 2011 uh, 2011 only so this question number 41 the similar type of question if you if you just remember this concept the similar type of question is is there in 2011 2014 18 2020 also recently just a straightforward question this is a very straightforward question and very simple to score very easy to score i mean to say so let me uh, read the question for you in an aquifer extending over 150 hectares this is the area the water balance water table was 20 meter below the ground level suppose this is the ground level and the ground water level is 20 meter below the ground level over a period of time suppose over a period of time suppose if over a period of time we are taking a, we are taking water from the ground water then the water table dropped to 23 meter from the ground level okay, this is a scenario and they observed that the porosity of aquifer is 0.4 and the specific retention of the aquifer is 0.15 now they asked to calculate what is the delta s he mean to say that change in the groundwater storage of the aquifer okay this is a question and the similar type of question is like you can you can observe in uh, all the previous year questions or uh, previous year papers so the main first relation fundamental relation is that porosity is equal to specific yield plus specific retention all of you know porosity is nothing but volume of oils divided by the total volume okay so under the under the saturation the maximum amount of water can accommodate is this particular volume of voids only so and under the saturation all the volume of all the voids will be filled with the ground water so that is a maximum it can store okay but under this maximum storage aquifer can only release a certain amount of water under the effect of either you do pumping or either do it by gravity only out of this total volume only certain volume will be released and the remaining volume will be retained in the aquifer so i'll give one analogy here let's say you take a sponge okay now imagine this sponge as aquifer now you dip this sponge into the water okay now what it will happen the sponge sucks the water okay now you you take the sponge out okay now you take the sponge out let it dry okay let it dry for a while so after a certain time you just squeeze it now you measure whatever the whatever the what is the amount of water is like uh, drained away from the sponge when you squeeze them so that amount you you note it down and remaining and after you squeeze also still if you observe the sponge will be wet only okay so now like how you can do you, you, this ex, this experiment is can, can be done very simply like let's say you can calculate the weight of the sponge before weight of the sponge weight, weight sponge and after squeezing or what is the weight and after like uh, like with weights you and density you can calculate so what i meant essentially meant is that after squeezing still some water will be left in the sponge that is nothing but a specific retention that amount of water is nothing but a specific retention when you squeeze what is the amount of water will uh, left the sponge or drained away from the sponge that is a specific yield so that is the analogy i want to give so given so what are the given data one is porosity 0.4 both they have given and specific retention 0.15 is nothing but amount of water retained in the aquifer even after the drainage or after the influence of gravity and other things and what is the amount of area 150 hectares so now from the situation we can see the change in the groundwater depth is how much 20 minus 23 minus 20 it is 3 meters now our interest is to calculate the delta s okay this is a very straightforward now you know the uh, this uh, n eta equal to x y plus s r so now you uh, you need s y so eta equal eta minus s r so you will get a 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 so you observe the options whether they ask in hectare meter or meter cube meter cube so in this uh, in this question they ask for the hectare meter so delta s equal to area into depth into s y which is equal to 150 hectare into 3 meter into 0 0.5 which gives the value of 112.5 hectare meter okay this is a very straightforward question okay i hope it is clear so that is all my all from my side for this